Hey guys, welcome back to Self Made. I'm Grant Thompson. And Chris Crone. In this video, we're going to get into what really makes a video pop, the storyline arc. It's all about how to tell a better story. Hey, my name is John Krasik, and uh, my, my question is for you know, both Chris and Grant, and, and that's how do you tell better stories with video? Okay, dude, so it was so crazy. I mean, I had already retired from creating all this wealth in real estate investing, but then this deal came along that I had, I just had to do it because I had a chance to buy hundreds of properties all at once at like a 96% discount. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like I was, I was like, dude, I'm gonna make millions of dollars. It was like the biggest deal I had ever found in my entire life. Hmm. So the only thing to make it work is I had to borrow a million dollars to do it. And I borrowed it from this man. He was a Jewish Iranian. And um, he was happy to lend me the money. So I go in, I start doing the deal. And if you fast forward a year later, the deal turned out really different than I thought that it would. Instead of making a million, I was trying not to lose millions. As in like, I, had, I, I couldn't conceive of how a deal could go that bad. Well, I was enjoying a trip in Hawaii with my family and I started getting every day a phone call from this man. And he had this deep, dark, menacing voice from this Jewish Iranian. He said, Chris, I need my money. Things aren't going well. I would sure hate for something to happen to you. I was like, crap! Like, this was terrifying. So I was getting these calls every single day. I was, I hated the vacation. I was just sweating bullets. I was losing sleep. And then the week after I got back from Hawaii, I kid you not, I'm sitting in my office and this black tinted Suburban pulls into the office right next to me. And these four Middle Eastern looking men in suits and heavy equipment get out of the car. I swear they're all there to kill me or threaten me or something bad is about to happen. I'm like, I was seeing their briefcases. I'm like, they each had two briefcases. I'm like, there's guns in there. So I kid you not, I freak out. They walk into the front. I'm sitting in my office. I'm crunched down low. I swear I'm gonna die. And like a tiny little kid, I peek my head out to look down the hall. And all of a sudden, I can overhear them say, oh yeah, we're here during lunch to do the, the custom suit ordering and fitting. And oh my gosh, I fell to the floor. I was like, oh my gosh. Long story short, I got the guy's million dollars paid back, but uh, I lost serious sleep of my life. Wow, no kidding. That's pretty intense. Yeah. Are you still there? <laughs> Are you engaged? Did you listen to the story? Because uh, it was real. It wasn't traumatized. That is actually the way that it really went down, right? Huh. This is the part where you now ask me questions like, oh, Chris, whoa. Like, I, I'm still I was, processing. I was so sucked into that experience. That's like, pretty intense. Happened, I'm trying to figure out how, how do you get a 94% discount and still lose millions? <laughs> I know it, dude, it's mind boggling crazy, right? It is, yeah. That's sorry, intense. I, I'm, sorry, I'm trying to get him refocused on the fact that we're trying to have this conversation about stories, but we'll have to debrief you a little so bit. So let's later. talk about it. Break it down, Chris. What, what was the process that you just took us through there with your story? Okay, so this was a little bit of a longer story. I think story should be two, maybe three minutes max. I don't know how long this one was. It was probably somewhere around there, maybe a little bit longer. But really a story, I think that a really great story, number one, has some deep emotion. If you can't feel it, like just ask yourself, did you feel anything as I was sharing that with you? Because I was feeling fear, I was feeling terror, I was feeling lack of certainty. I never want to feel that way ever again. But I was allowing myself to relive it and relive those emotions because by experiencing them and allowing myself to be vulnerable enough to feel them, I think it creates permission for you to share an experience instead of if I had just spoken more textbook and clinically about the experience like once there was this time. Like allow yourself to go back and feel what you experienced then because I think the feeling is the most engaging part of telling a story. Mm -hmm. Number two, I'd keep it short. And then number three, it, a story needs to include the arc of problem, solution. That's the simplest arc I can give you. There was a problem, there was deep emotion, there was solution, there was different emotion, right? Mm -hmm. Like for example, when I finished my story, could you feel relief? I hope you can feel some relief because in the beginning you might have felt some stress like, dude, what does this have to do with YouTube? This is like kind of freaky. You're gonna get shot! <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's it, yeah. yeah. And as you're creating your videos, it's really important that your videos you view them as stories because anytime somebody logs on to watch you, uh, it's because they want to follow your story. And if you don't really have a story or your video is really discombobulated or jumps around a lot and it doesn't really seem to have a point, it's going to be really hard for people to engage because they're, they're not going to know how to follow along. And once you lose their attention, they'll go find something else. So make sure you have a very clear beginning, middle, and end. Have some kind of a, a problem 
your feelings through it, a solution, and some kind of a payoff. The last thing I'd recommend is make sure your story is relevant. Like, if it's just total tangent and can't actually tie back into where you're headed, mm -hmm. I think for some people you're gonna lose some viewers that way. So instead of losing them and dropping off, just make sure that you are your own best shepherd or sheepdog that can bring you back and make sure, hey, I was telling the story for a reason. And then in the end, tell them what that reason was and make sure you tie it into either the content or the experience or really whatever it is that you're doing. But even if you're making a how-to video, how to make something, that is a story. It's like, today we wanna to make this. Here's the steps to make it, and look, we made it. You got a beginning, a middle, and an end. So you wanna be thinking about all of your videos this way. If it's an experiment, if it's a list video, if it's a, a, a training of a life experience, if it's some kind of informational product, think about everything as a beginning, a middle, and end. The last thing I would recommend is make sure when we talk about making a story emotionally engaging, Give it a reason and give it a purpose. You know, I look at some of the things that you guys do and I remember I was over at your office one day or your basement and Nate was showing me this fireplace that he had made and in my mind I was thinking, man, if it was Christmas time and if this was a sub for Santa, how cool would it have been to like do a big giveaway and donation for a family and give them a fireplace with all the stuff? Like mm -hmm. there would have been emotional heartstrings there. Like, wow, mm. how can this thing we made serve a purpose or how could it be used to create peace or how could it be used to be an expression of compassion? You know, and, and it's just this idea of how do we emotionally engage? Because we as human beings, I mean, if all we ever do is get in our head, we're dead. We're never really connecting as deep as we're really capable of than when we get to a heart level. So bear that in mind when you're producing your videos that wh whether it's telling a story or not, you know, allow yourself to express yourself as an emotional human being because that's when this real connection takes place. Hey guys, thanks for joining us for this video, and Chris, thanks for sharing your thoughts on, on storytelling. You've definitely got the passion and the energy for it. Got my heart leaping, man. <laughs> hey, listen, you want to come out to one of our upcoming events. Next year, we're going to be doing another self-made. It's going to be really awesome. But in the meantime, you don't have to wait to get all the training that you need to launch your YouTube career right now. In fact, whether you want the tools and the resources of a mastermind with us, if you want to be working with our team to build it for you, whatever that looks like, click the link below and our team will go ahead and get with you and share with you what that can look like.